Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all over all social media. I am at I am CC Suarez. I also have a podcast called Down a Rabbit Hole with CC Suarez. Feel free to watch or listen to that wherever you get your podcasts or here on YouTube as well. But today we have another Top Fails video. I'm super excited for it. I just looked in my to be filmed folder and I have five videos I have to film. That's a lot. And it's 718 right now. Shit is rough. Okay, yeah, Tony's on a mandate, so that sounded weird. He went to dinner with one of his friends. It's not a, a mandate. Anyways, actually, shit, I guess I have six videos to film. Jesus Christ. All right, so I have a crazy video that one of y'all sent me, and it's Jesse Lee's real story. Now, this video was from five years ago. That's a long time ago. Now, keep in mind, she's been fired from two MLMs. You're probably thinking, Chelsea, how's that possible? It's possible. <laughs> Make the CEO hate you and you, you can surely get fired very quickly. But this is her real story out of her own mouth. And we always talk about how she gives half truths and a half truth is, I think, very dangerous. I feel like sometimes it's worse than a lie because I feel like you're even more so manipulating someone and lying to them. I don't know. It's just lying by omission. And to make your sob story just even sadder. Oh my God. It's like that person on RuPaul's Drag Race when he's like, <laughs> I was born at a very young age for the first few years. I, could, I couldn't walk or talk. And there was always poop in my pants. <laughs> and it's like, if you just hear that, it's like, oh my God, that's so sad. Then you think about it for a second. And you're like, wait, you were born at a young age? Well, yeah, all of us are pooping our pants and can't talk or walk. Do you get it? I feel like a lot of people don't get it when they watch that. But being overly dramatic and stuff like that is really something that Jesse Lee Ward does a lot. And a lot of people in MLMs too. So let's keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and watch this. It's only four minutes long, but I know we're going to stop a lot. You know, whatever. But they all, you know, people are like, karma's a B. And I'm like, look, karma's a B if you're a B. <laughs> if you're not, karma's good. <laughs> but anyway, so... Like I said, it came back down here and I kept... Yeah, that's the same person. That's the same person. I look very different and like from five years ago, so I can't really talk, but like I still like look the same, you know? Essentially, it's just crazy like how she's evolved. I've been seeing some, some reels and pictures of her and I'm like, damn, she actually looks good. So good for her. I mean, hey, if Hollywood's taught us nothing, it's not that you're ugly, it's that you're poor. I believe in that. You can fix anything. On noticing that the, the you know, the months that I was working at this lab, I was like, something in my life is missing. You know, when I kept putting it out there and talking to, you know, my mom, because I was living in her basement, um, I could not, like, I knew in my paycheck, I knew exactly how much money I was going to have when those two, like when my paycheck came, I knew exactly how much money I had left over. And that was just not freedom to me. Um, and I'm a huge advocate of pay yourself first. Hey, first and foremost, it was her mother's basement. What do you know? Not her landlord's basement. And now she's saying that she was making like good money at the pathology lab that she worked at. But then she says, I knew exactly how much money was left over after like I paid my bills. That's not freedom to me. Shouldn't you know how much money is in your bank account? Like, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I if I do like do the math, I will know how much money like I feel like you kind of should know. And if, if you don't, you should be able to do it after like five seconds of math. But like the little anecdote that I just said, I was born at a very young age, like making something that's like not sad, making it sound sad. Oh, Lord. So somebody the other day actually messaged me and she said, she's like, Jesse Lee, you know, you, you know, you said you were making all this money or, you know, you were making good money in a lab. How on earth were you broke? You could have moved out of your mom's house. You could have, you know, you could have had this, this. I'm like, look, I don't think you understand the way money really works. Because if you understand how money works, A, you pay yourself first. B, money goes directly into retirement. C, the rest of your money can go into investments. Then you got savings. And then you're out of money after food, right? So many of us, we pay our bills first. We pay our debts first. First of all, if you're a business owner, no, you don't pay yourself first. Like, I don't pay myself first. I pay my editor and my assistant and my husband before I pay myself. Like there is, there have been times where I've just been like, oh, I'm just going to push off. <laughs> I'm going to push off payroll for, for a week or two, just because like I am putting money other places instead of paying myself. I might actually lower my paycheck and then just give myself like quarterly bonuses. I don't fucking know. This is so dumb. 
I was so broke in living, you know, paycheck to paycheck. I almost didn't have any money left over after groceries and after I'd paid all my bills and put money into savings and also paid myself and put money into my 401k. That's not broke. That's not broke. See, the, and, and there's a difference between being broke and poor, right? In my mind, poor, no money at all. Broke, you've like paid your bills, but you like hardly have any money in any of your accounts. I, I don't know. What do you think? Is there a difference? I think there's a difference. And then if something's left over, maybe we'll get Chipotle. If you flip it and you put your investments first, and this wasn't supposed to be about money, but I love giving you guys money tips. If you put yourself first, you'll notice that the universe will start putting more money in its place. I promise you, you'll start seeing more opportunities to make money. So this is what happened to me. Basically, I was like, oh my gosh, I need more money. I'm putting all this money into investments. Um, you know, I, at the time I had a Roth IRA because I had read Ramit Sadie's book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. And he was telling me I needed to open up these accounts. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't have any money left over. I'm never going to leave my mom's house. And what do you know? Boom, there happened to be network marketing. I swear to you, it was, it was the weirdest thing. This is your live true story of how I found network marketing. Um, there was, there was, there's a little thing called Facebook, if you're familiar. You ever been on there before? So did you not have to get 300 extra dollars? Was your not, why, wait, what? So was your mom not, am I too high for this? Like what? I don't understand. This is crazy. Boom. You can talk to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Now, so I was on Facebook one day trolling like we all do, right? And I was just poking around on Facebook and I saw uh, somebody who I had actually never met. didn't know who she was. She commented on somebody's wall that I had also never met. So I was I was doing that thing where you are really stalking, you're like super bored and you go you end up like 10 people deep and you have no idea who the person is. You're like like reading somebody's status and you're like, "How did I get here? You live in Kansas, right?" So this is what happened. I was like in the I mean, <laughs> I was deep into Facebook. And on someone's page I didn't even know and she and and somebody had written on her wall something like, you know, uh you need to quit that job you have. You need to join me in my business. And she posted her link, which is a really awful way to market your business, by the way. But look, look at me now. OK, so I clicked on the link and I was like, what the hell is this? And I look, I started reading it and I went upstairs the next day and I started complaining to my mom. And I said, you know, mom, I've been reading this book. You got me as a college graduation gift. I will teach you to be rich. And he says I need to be making more money. And he says I need to invest. And I don't know how to invest if I don't have any extra money. And I was online last night on Facebook and this girl was talking about this at home business. And my mom goes, yes, you should do one of those at home businesses. And I was like, really? Now, if you know me, you know the at-home business, the first at-home business I chose was a little unconventional, very much so women's empowerment. It was pure romance. It was called Slumber Parties back then, but then the CEO sold it. Also, allegedly, the CEO hates her. And that's one of the reasons, like, Jesse Lee is one of the reasons why she sold the company, which is hilarious. And then also, Jesse Lee got fired from that one. I just love that she was like, it was very unconventional, very women empowerment. How is selling dildos <laughs> and throat numbing cream women empowerment? Listen, I'm very sex positive. Love it. Great. Selling sex toys is not women empowerment. Having a conversation about it, sure. But you selling, again, throat numbing cream, not women empowerment. Sell a gimp suit and then we'll talk. <laughs> But it's a little taboo. And so my mom, I think, was thinking more along the lines of like Avon or something. <laughs> Oops, sorry, mom. Um, and I just went online and I bought a kit under this person who I had no idea. I was, I mean, there was no faith in her because I didn't know who she was. There was a faith in myself. Okay, so jump back really fast to when I was, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 years old, you know, no money in the household, couldn't ask my mom. Oh, I guess that's it. So that was super uncomfortable. I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> How long? I've only been going for 12 minutes. My goodness. Well, I guess this is going to be a short video. So yeah, that's, that's uncomfortable. Obviously, I just said that like six times, but why the change in her story? I'd be very interested to see like when the story changed to I lived in a basement, not my mom's basement, not any mention of my mom unless she goes like further into her story and she talks about how her dad, trigger warning, domestic abuse, was 
abusing her mom and like got physical and Jesse Lee called the cops on her dad, got him sent to prison, I guess. Then Jesse Lee also in one video that I reacted to was like, not like she was blaming her mom for her dad beating her. Blaming, not blaming the victim. <laughs> like if, if anyone's going to do it, all right. Wouldn't surprise me if it's Jesse Lee Ward, but yikes. Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, now at least we know the, the true story, but isn't it funny how, how that story changes into more of a sob story? The lesson here is please don't trust people on the internet just because they give you some sobs. Like, obviously, if they're not trying to sell something and then okay, but she's trying to sell something. Why is she telling you her story? Why is she telling you her why? It's to manipulate you and try to relate to you. That's all. So her original story isn't so much of a sob story. It's pretty basic, right? Living at home after college, starting a job, wanting more money. Yeah, I feel like mostly everyone who goes to college and then moves back in with their parents goes through that. You know, starting entry level at a job, which a, a lot of people do. Not necessarily have to do, but a lot of people do that. I guess that's going to be it for this video. I know this is super short. Sorry, but the video I was reacting to is super short. Maybe I'll do a, I'll like find that video and do a full on, a full on reaction video to it. But I have five other videos I have to film right now. So love ya. I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Stay spicy. Remember that. I hope you're having a great month. We're almost out of the first quarter. I was about to say of Florida. What the fuck? <laughs> We're almost out of the first quarter of the year. I hope it's going well for you. I hope you're healthy and happy. And if you're not, that's okay. Not every single day is going to be perfect. Not every month is going to be perfect. Not every year is going to be perfect. But you'll get through it. You'll be okay. Hopefully. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.